Hello and welcome to another Climbing Nomads how-to video. In this episode we're going to look at core conditioning and give you a few exercises which can be included in your sessions or done at home. The core is an important part when it comes to climbing and in particular when things start to get steeper and overhanging. Core tension is what maintains body position and helps you to stay on steep ground and move more efficiently. It's basically what links your hands and arms to your legs and feet, so paying it a little attention through some quick conditioning exercises on a regular basis will go a long way to improving your climbing. The following exercises can be done in any order and all of them should be done slowly and in control to maximise the core workout through maintaining the muscle contractions for longer. So first up, the dish. With your torso and straight legs at 45 degrees from vertical, maintain a dish shape for one minute at a time. If you're just starting out, start with legs bent and gradually straighten your legs as your core strength increases over time. As you advance, lengthen the time spent in the dish position. These can be done hanging from a bar or on a tricep dips bar. Slowly raise your legs out in front of you until they're horizontal and slowly lower down. Repeat this four to six times to start with, then as your core becomes stronger over time, you can increase the number of repetitions to between eight to 10. For a less strenuous version, raise your legs with bent knees instead and gradually build up your core strength to be able to have straight legs. For a harder exercise, try an L-sit on the floor and holding that for a few seconds. Having bars or weights to hold helps to lessen the strain on your wrists. In addition to the forward leg raises, include some side leg raises too to really condition the entire core. As you bring your legs up, rotate the hips so that the outer leg is facing upwards. TRX leashes or foot stirrups are a great way to focus energy almost entirely on the core throughout the exercises. Slowly bring your knees up towards your chest and back to the starting position. Repeat this four to six times depending on your current core strength. Next, rotate your hips and bring your knees up sideways to your chest. Repeat this four to six times on both sides. This engages the side core muscles. Finally, slowly bring your feet forwards, arch your back and bend at the waist to raise your rear end upwards into the pike position. Repeat this four to six times. A great exercise which engages the core and puts it to use in a climbing context is toe tapping on the wall. Choose an overhanging section of wall and a large jug, hang the jug and, using slow controlled movements, lift your foot up to tap a hold. Make sure you swap and use both feet on both sides and to tap a variety of holds as high and as wide as you can. The stronger your core is, the more holds you can tap. With the above exercises, do make sure you've warmed up thoroughly before engaging in any conditioning. Aim for a full set of all exercises to start with and increase the number of sets as your core gets stronger. We hope you've enjoyed this quick core conditioning video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Hit the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. We do other tutorials and how-to videos, so check those out on our channel, as well as our own personal vlogs, so head over and check those out too. We'll see you in the next video.